Good morning, students. Am I audible? Morning, sir. Morning, sir. Good morning. Sorry, I I'm late a little bit. So both sections are present now, correct? Please inform all the students to join because you are taking this class for combine. Okay, both section and section B. So we are discussing about AutoCAD, right? So the basic purpose of this course to know the 
very basic principle of AutoCAD. That means what is the basic idea behind AutoCAD? Right. The small, small tools which are very important, but usually we do know how it comes. So we'll discuss about that in this course. Along with some practical, fine. So okay, wait a second, let me switch on the brain. Okay, first, uh, let me share my screen and just I'll open my AutoCAD software. Hold on a second. By the time, please inform all the students of section A and section B to join. Fine. It will take some time, so wait a second. Can you see the screen? The AutoCAD software? Yes, sir. Is it visible? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Fine. So, uh, before starting a new thing, so let's revise the thing we have discussed in last class. So let's revise something, a uh, quick summary of the last class. So uh, we have gone through the introduction of the AutoCAD software, right? So it was initially uh, created by the AutoCAD company in USA. Okay. So initially it was, it can be run in DOS file, a DOS software. So after 13 version, after 13 years of its initial launch, even in the OS software can also be, that means your Windows software also can be uh, compatible for this AutoCAD software. And nowadays in every uh, version of soft, uh, in computer can be install the AutoCAD file, usually come in 64-bit. Initially, it was came in 64- and 32-bit also, but usually that uh, today's new laptops and computers are made of 64-bits only, so you can go for a 64-bit AutoCAD software. And if you want to install or if you want to purchase AutoCAD software, the original one, then you can go through the autodex.com the official website of Autodex company, Autodex Corporation of USA. From there, you can purchase the AutoCAD file, AutoCAD software, the genuine AutoCAD software um, under student quota, you can say. For under student quota, there is a special scheme for student. So you can purchase the AutoCAD file for say two to three years. After that, it will go invalid, okay? You have to purchase it. Anyway, so we have discussed this is the logo the capital a red color you can see at the left top corner it is a logo of autocad software and side by side this logo there is a white uh, raw where the autocad 2010 is written okay that means it is all is known as title bar fine in the title bar, we can see the na name of the software that is AutoCAD, the version of the software, since I'm using 2010 version, so it's showing 2010. If you purchase different, if you install different uh, product of AutoCAD, different version of AutoCAD, it will, it will be shown here, okay? Similarly, uh, by the side, it is written like drawing1.dwg, drawing1 is coming as a by default name of the file since i have opened as soon as i have opened this file in autocad it's taken by default the uh, that drawing one the name okay if you can change, rename it you can also change the name okay if you change the name of the file it will reflect here and finally dot dwg 
now dwg is a kind of a format okay it, you can say it is a autocad file format. Okay. hold on a second Wait a second. Okay. So this uh, dot DWG is what it is your file name. Okay. It is a standard AutoCAD drawing file format okay what is dwg dwg is what is your it is known as standard AutoCAD drawing file format. Okay, DWG. You can also write the dot dot DWG. Okay. Whenever you see uh, anywhere a file name before this dot DWG, you will understand it is an AutoCAD file. Okay, AutoCAD drawing file. Okay. It should be all right. Okay. Uh, other than that, there are numbers of formats or AutoCAD files are here, okay, which are used for different purposes. For example, I'll show you uh, another one. It is dot dwt. Now, what is this? It is basically it is known as this uh, used for drawing templates, okay. For drawing templates. right use for drawing templates so what is this mean basically so wait a second so whenever you start drawing a particular drawing have a different restriction or different instruction like what is the dimension of the drawing okay in which scale you have to draw okay and the size of the text all these things will be pre-decided okay and before starting a drawing you have to first fix this like you have to fix the unit suppose you need the dimension in meter so you have to fix the unit in meter you have to fix the decimal okay uh, to which uh, extent you need the decimal that means 0 0.00 or 0 0.0 only these things and suppose in which scale you need 1 to 10 1 to 100 all these things so these things should be uh, fixed in the AutoCAD before you start the drawing okay and in the templates file that I'm telling you about this template so with the AutoCAD software some template AutoCAD file come with the software okay it's like a ready-made file where the all these instructions are already fixed it's that's why it's called templates okay that means you don't need to uh, go for creating this dimension all these instruction given for a particular drawing by yourself before starting up 
drawing okay that means you can use the template or you can also do one thing initially you do all these instruction related to drawing fix it like unit dimension scale all these things you can fix before the starting the drawing and you can save it as a template file so that you can use this template file even for different drawing okay that means you can also uh, uh, minimize your time for drawing okay so that's why it is we need a template file sometimes okay so this template file is basically saved in the format of dwt t4 template you can remember with this t4 template okay okay so this is all about your template anyway so in the last class we have discussed about this uh it is your title bar okay then below this it is your uh, menu bar okay and these others are called ribbon okay r i w b o n ribbon and these are you can say are drop down menu these are the menu bar and if you click anywhere you can see these are the drop down menus tip okay the drop down menu come you can see this are you can say this is your drop down menu fine and you can see this is your drawing toolbar or you can say draw toolbar these things are already discussed in the last class draw toolbar and in the right side here you can see this is your modify toolbar fine but it is not uh, always uh, that it should be in the left or right okay it's not like that you remember that you should you should identify particular column consisting of different tools whether it is drawing toolbar or modifying toolbar by just seeing the tool okay you first go to the particular column and click anywhere not click just go to and take your cursor to there and check suppose line is showing here you have to know this line construction line rectangle circle all these tools are under draw toolbar okay that means we can say this column is for draw toolbar but in the other hand if you go to the next this but uh, this column if i go and touch this cursor to first tool you can see their areas is their copy mirror all these are uh, all are modified toolbar you have to know okay so don't remember in such a way that the drawing toolbar should be in the left and modified toolbar should be in right okay because these you can also rearrange this column okay you can also rearrange it's just a customize you can also make come customize suppose i have taken this you can i have i can if i want to wait let me first keep here okay if i want to if i want to uh, modify the arrangement of the stool i can make it okay how to do take your cursor to the top of the column okay before this areas tool there is if you see closely there is a um, extra edge of the column just click here with your left click of the mouse and without um, without your removing your finger from the mouse just move your mouse to anywhere it will come here okay so i can again i can click here i can keep here so that i can place here else i can also take this uh, drawing toolbar in the left side okay so you can modify it we can modify or you can also rearrange the tool okay but usually we do one thing uh, we take the draw toolbars here sorry modify toolbar in the right and uh, draw toolbar in the left okay but it's all up to you if you want both in the same direction you can do it there is no hard and fast rule okay clear so these things we have discussed overall and at the bottom you can see this white column row okay where the command is written you can see the command is written this bar is known as command area okay command area or command bar okay
command oh, command bar or area whatever you say okay i also i think in the previous class i already mentioned this with this command area we can communicate with this autocad software that means whenever i click any tool suppose i have clicked this line tool just i'm click okay i'm i didn't click okay i haven't clicked now just check whenever i click here you can see some information will come in this command area okay just look closely i'm going to click now in the line command now check as soon as uh, i click in the line co uh, command or line tool you can see what command is given it's line i have clicked line that's why it's showing line and what is the what is written here specify first point that means autocad have autocad always this autocad software always guide you about the next step since i have clicked in the line command this autocad software tell you about the feature step via this command area okay so you can also in the beginning since you are beginner so you can also follow you can also follow this command area okay if i click line then it will show in face a first point if i click anywhere suppose circle then it will showing specify uh center of the point center of the circle like this fine anyway so i also told you i guess this is this uh, dimension that is your showing here na? y and x this represents what this represents the uh, in which plane your drawing plane is currently okay this is your drawing area okay and this drawing area in which plane how, how can you know by seeing this axis okay so you all you know this three dimensional cartesian coordinate there is always mutually perpendicular three direction x y and z okay we are living in a three dimension so always there exists a three dimension cartesian coordinates but you can see currently we are seeing only two coordinates x and y that means whatever i'm going to draw here this particular drawing will be in the plan of x and y okay whatever suppose nearby your stable there is a book there is a copy somewhere you are writing right so this plan also we can consider x and y plan and what is the other axis z axis z axis just directly perpendicular to your copy or you can say for my case the z direction is directly perpendicular to my laptop screen or you can say uh, z direction is perpendicular to this uh, drawing area that's why we cannot see the z whatever i i'm going to draw it will be in a x y plan for mechanical engineer it requires three dimension autocad can be done in three dimension they need to do, go for 3d drawing for the for them along with the x and y the z direction also will come okay so z direction will also come when you go for three dimensional drawing okay fine but now the z direction is perpendicular to the screen okay so okay anyway so whenever just below this uh, x and y axis okay before that this axis is known as what this axis is known as ucs icon i think in the last class also uh, we have mentioned i have mentioned right u c ucs icon right what is ucs icon user coordinate system user coordinate system okay this is your user coordinate system fine and this is your command area and below the command area here you can see again so some small small tools are uh, i think you can see right can you see where some tools have are there like snap mode then grid display then auto mode okay then polar tracking object object snap then object snap tracking then allow or display dynamic ucs then dynamic input line weight and all quick properties that means whatever you draw a line 
the property of the particular line like the land thickness okay all these things so, and along with that some data are given i think you can see right so basically this the bottom row is known as what status bar okay it is known as status status bar okay this is known as status bar and here can you see some data some numbers can you see the numbers yes or no yes sir yes sir okay now what is this number stands for can you can anyone tell me just if you want to guess okay now see whenever i click in a part uh, whenever I click whenever i click in the drawing area suppose i have click here okay and i have just if i move my cursor in the drawing area can you see the data are moving just check look closely whenever i move my mouse to one point to another point the data this data i'm talking about this data are changing right or no can you see yes sir. yes sir okay so now tell me what are they actually just try to guess it may be wrong. because i'm asking you because it just all mathematics that's why you don't need to know autocad for this just already i'm already some hints already given to you about the access anyone no okay okay anyway no problem okay do one thing uh can you uh, a second hold a second